Okay, guys. Um, I skipped over a ton of steps. I went all the way from, I think, shampooing my hair to the finished product. Um, but with this quick cam the way it is, I don't have um, the patience to do, like, you know, three different videos and stuff like that. So what I did was I did the amla treatment. Um, I left it in for about a half an hour. And then, oh, I have to tell you guys, do not, do not, I repeat, do not put baking soda or baking powder, whatever it is that we use as a humectant, you know, the, what is it, Arm & Hammer baking powder, soda? I can't remember. Anyway, don't put that in with uh, conditioner if you have color on your hair. When I, after I did my AMLA treatment, I did a deep conditioner. Um, and one of the things I decided was, because I can't decide how I want to style my hair for the winter as a protective style, and it's probably going to be some version of this. This is um, a different type of twist out. I actually did bigger twists this time. Uh, not so much in the back, and I, I should have made them bigger in the back um, now that I see what the back looks like, but... Um, I made like, you know, two here, and I had one down here, and then I had one here and one here, um, and normally I have more than that. I probably had about 15 twists in my hair, and I normally have about 20 to 22. Um, so it gave me much bigger waves, if you can see that. Um... See how big that, that first one is? The waves are much bigger, um, which actually looks kind of nice. I, I like it. But anyway, um, after I did the AMLA treatment, I decided to do a deep, deep, deep conditioner. Um, and in an effort to get as much moisture into my hair as I could, I um, put baking soda in with my conditioner. I don't know if anybody's ever used the baking soda um, technique. But it works really good for pulling all the moisture out of the conditioner and putting it right into um, your hair. In any event, if you have color in your hair, though, don't use it. This is the second time I've done something with baking soda while I had color in my hair. Well, okay, the first time I did it, remember that, that white part, uh, the gray that I was leaving right here? The first time I did something with baking soda, the baking soda turned my, I had done an AMLA treatment or something, and the baking soda turned my gray hair yellow. Um, this time when I took the conditioner off my, I mean took my plastic cap off of my head, my conditioner was green. Green. There was green stuff all in my hair, everything was green. I was so afraid that my hair was going to be green. Um, so if you have color, I would recommend not using the baking soda because you just don't know, you know, a lot of us aren't chemists, most of us aren't chemists that are, you know, doing the natural hair thing, um, at least here on YouTube that I'm aware of, and um, we don't know the chemical reactions between, you know, some of these things, and I was so frightened. I mean, luckily my hair felt great, so I knew that it hadn't done anything to my hair. But I was so scared, guys. I mean, I was like, oh, my gosh, my hair is going to be green. It was crazy. All of my scalp, scalp, it was green. All around the edges, it was green. All, like, up in my hair, it was green. It was crazy. And then I had, like, a little tissue around the edge to catch drips because with the baking soda thing, it gets really watery because um, it's pulling all this moisture um, out of the conditioner. And... Um, the uh, tissue was green. I was just like, oh my gosh. At first I thought I hadn't rinsed the amla out that well. But then when I, um, you know, I thought that's why it was on the little tissues. Then when I took that plastic cap off and my whole head was green, I was just like, oh my gosh, what type of YouTube video is this going to be? I just thought I was going to be coming out here telling you guys that I had green hair. So anyway, um, just wanted to put that out there for anybody with color. Stay away from baking soda. Anyway, um, with the conditioner, what I decided to put in the conditioner was um, olive oil, 
Um, I melted some shea butter, probably about a tablespoon and a half of shea butter I melted. Um, I put in about a teaspoon of olive oil. I put in um, Hello Hydration. I put in some of my EO Hydrating Shampoo. And I also put in some Relax and Natural uh, Conditioner. I mean, my EO Hydrating Conditioner. And then I also put in uh, Pantene Relax and Natural um, just because it gives such great slip and I thought my hair would really need it after the AMLA treatment because it does tend to be a little drying. Um, I mixed all that up. Um, I also added the baking soda and I put it on my hair and I left it on there for about an hour and a half, two hours while I was studying and then I took it off, rinsed it out. Um, I used Totally Twisted after I rinsed it out to like finger comb it and detangle it. Um, and then I twisted it, um, and this is the result. So, I'm liking it. Um, it feels super moisturized. Um, it looks really moisturized. Uh, I'm going to see if it lasts. One of the things I was going to put in my conditioner and then decided not to was um, honey. Um, the reason I didn't put honey in was because it is getting colder and honey is a humectant. And I was reading on Curly Nikki's site, and you can check it out if you want to, that um, things like glycerin and honey are kind of bad for us in the winter time because what can end up happening is with the humectants, um, they pull water out of the air and put it into your hair, but then when there's no water in the air because the air is so dry, then sometimes it'll pull the moisture right out of your hair. So um, I'm going to be staying away from those over the winter. Um, I wasn't going to use the Echo for this twist out because um, Echo also has glycerin in it. So I have another gel that's really light that I like that I'm thinking maybe I'll use for the winter time instead of the Echo. But... Um, I don't know, I used it this time. It's not winter yet, it's not snowy, and it's still somewhat humid here, um, so I figured I could get away with it for another month or so. And I love it. I absolutely love the Echo. So, um, anyway, just wanted to give you guys a follow-up. Um, just so you know, the AMLA, um, I uh, wanted to read you what it actually does. Um... It says that it's a natural astringent and skin toner that works on both hair and skin. In botanical terms, it's known as Imblic Microbalan. The paste of this powder helps promote black hair and luxuriant hair. Even as it controls hair loss, it stimulates hair roots and promotes hair growth. This apart, it prevents scalp infection and controls premature grain of hair. When used on skin, the paste of this powder brightens the complexion and removes pimples and grime. Um, what else does it say? It also controls um, hair fall or hair falling out, um, you know, when it's not supposed to. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a follow-up um, to my first video. I hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Ciao.